All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Follow me on Twitter at Anthony Smoke. So today we're in Tableau, and I'm going to show you how to make a, a hex map using a spatial file. And so there are many ways to make a, a, a hex map. Um, you know, there's some very complicated ways, and the easiest way that I found is to leverage someone else's uh, spatial file. So you can find a spatial file on uh, you know many open data portals. You can find them on websites for your city uh, if they provide them. Uh, a lot of government websites will have them, data.gov or census.gov. So uh, the spatial file that I'm going to be using uh, is provided by uh, Joshua Milligan, who is a uh, Tableau Zen master. He runs the blog vizpainter.com. So this is where I received uh, the spatial file. I downloaded it uh, from, uh, from his blog post uh, where he's talking about uh, creating this spatial file. So all credit goes to Joshua Milligan. Check out his blog, vizpainter.com. So let's get into this. Let's leverage uh, uh, that spatial file right now. I have default uh, Superstore data open uh, from Tableau. And the only thing we're going to do is we're going to add a spatial file. And it's called hexstates.shp. We'll bring that in. As you can see, we've got a state. We've got a state abbreviation. And we have this uh, geometry field, right? So when you connect to spatial data, Tableau creates a geometry field uh, that holds the, uh, the polygon. So uh, this geometry field is going to build out the map uh, when we use it uh, on our sheet, right? So let's go back here. And I'm going to double click on geometry. And there is our, our shape file. And these are our states in uh, hexagonal uh, order. As you can see, it's put us somewhere here in the motherland, Ghana, uh, Nigeria, Congo, uh, hashtag uh, Marcus Garvey here. I'll let you Wikipedia uh, Marcus Garvey. But uh, what we want to do, let's go into map. Let's go into the uh, map layers and just uncheck all the boxes. All right. So now we've got our shape file uh, in the void uh, by itself. And I'm going to go back here and we're going to bring in the Superstore data. So we're going to bring this in. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Click on Sample Superstore and bring in, uh, let's bring in orders, right? So this is how we connect our spatial file uh, to, uh, to other data. And yeah, it helps, obviously, the join is going to be on uh, state, right? So if I were to go back here, uh, there should be a state. I just can't see it. Uh, city, country, state, there we go, state for orders, right? So that is what it is joining upon, right? So if I go in here, you'll see that it's uh, the default is an inner join on state uh, to state, right? But I want to make this a left, if I keep it an inner join, let me just show you. If I keep it an inner join and go here, uh, you'll see that I have my Alaska and Hawaii disappear, right? All that means is there's no data for Alaska or Hawaii, uh, in the orders file, but if I change this now to a left join uh, for all you SQL fans out there All that's saying is preserve every row in my hex states file uh, Regardless if it has a, a matching uh, state in orders or not so just preserve all of the uh, the states So there's Alaska. There's Hawaii. I can actually bring over uh, state abbreviations put that on label all right and uh, the labels show up and now uh, I can take uh, take a measure it's profit. Let's put that on color, and you'll see we have the uh, uh, the profit displayed here on our hex map um, by color. So really, that is all it takes when you can find a nice spatial file uh, to use. Uh, this is good because Alaska doesn't overwhelm the view, and I can see differences in the smaller states on on the East Coast which may be hard to do uh, in, in your standard map, right? Uh, now, there is some suspension of disbelief uh, that you have to undertake, right? Georgia's not, uh, you know, in a peninsula, and uh, D.C. is not floating off uh, in the middle of the Atlantic as desirable as that may be for some. 
Um, but again, this is uh, this is how you use a spatial file to create a uh, a hex map in Tableau. So to reiterate, all credit due to Joshua Milligan. Check out his blog vizpainter.com for this spatial file and some other uh, really great uh, content. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you found this tip useful. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.